Okay, first things first, let's get rid of this. <sighs> there we go, I can breathe again. Hello again everyone, it is your Black Knight and Today we're gonna we're gonna upgrade another car I bought during the last week of the E. Cola versus Sprunk debacle. The <laughs> I'll get a debacle because I was a Sprunk guy. But anyway, at any rate this is a car I'm not going to sprunkify, at least I'm not planning on sprunkifying it, but we're going to do some upgrades here to the GP1. That's right, I actually bought a car which is not competitive. It's not It's not the fast car that it, it could... It's not even just ridiculously straight line fast. No, it's, it's got a decent top speed, but it's not, not you know, thunderlessly, you know... It, it, ridiculous driving, you know. It, it, if it was a car that couldn't corner very well but went very fast, that would be pretty true to what the original car was. I was looking up, I was looking up some uh, some videos and pictures of this when it was on Top Gear, from because it's from a Top Gear garage. And yeah, Clarkson didn't like it. Was not imp was not impressed. So, you get it mostly for the customization and because it looks cool. I don't know that I'm going to make it much different than stock. It is mid-engine, so like kind of having the, the vent there, I'm not sure that custom concept. Let's go with the custom bumper. Carbon diffuser. Strip trim diffuser. This doesn't really change much of anything. Let's look, just leave that alone. Engine. Engine tunes. Engine cover. Carbon trim. Custom cover. LM engine cover. Vision engine. I guess that's what it's supposed to actually look like inside. You can see the, the intakes. I, I think I'm going to go s custom smooth on this. It's really a smooth car. Exhaust. Dual exit. The standard. Ooh. Quad. A lot of good op. Wow, it's just, you know, all the smokes. So many options. <laughs> Keep it a little bit simple, I think. Just hood catches. Closed loop hood catches. Back edge hood catches. I'm not sure which way it opens. Let's let, let's let that go for right now. We can always add them. Stock headlight covers. Okay, that's where you can get a little bit of secondary. Let's just do primary top cover. Hood. Ooh, we can smooth the whole thing right out. Lots of ways to make it not smooth. Lights, gotta give it. This really deserves some xenons. Don't know the color yet. Don't know what this is gonna be. Maybe it'll be black. I don't don't plan on making it black. The race mirror, I don't normally go for, you know, like stock looks kind of better there, but the race mirrors call to me a little bit on this, you know? Wait. You know, we got to get back to it. Are you coming on to me? It looks almost as good as me. Are you, are you just trying to get a bigger tip? 
We'll talk later. All right, rear cover. I think we gotta need. We have to have some vents. Don't you think? Some texture to the car. Or do we? I mean, that would be the full custom build right there, right? I, I don't feel like going full custom. I feel like that's almost too much. It's almost too not breathing. Considering what this car is, you know, yeah, we're not going to sprunkify it. That's just... That, doesn't seem to fit. We're gonna go metallic, but what? Mostly this car I see, you know, you see it's in, even when it's an orange or a red, it's, it's in a muted tone. It's British, so you know, like a candy red versus a bright red, that's, that's not bad. Does it call to me though? Gold and bronze are options. And, you know, olive green. I've been doing a lot of olive green though as of late. You know, you need to mix it up. Gasoline green. You know, it, gasoline green is those colors that I like and hardly ever use. Consider that midnight blues and Saxon blue. Harbor blue. Blue be blue. Now browns. This is a car that I think could use some brown. We can we can go with that. It's baby poop brown. Beechwood brown. Beechwood brown or gasoline green. Sienna brown. That's that's a thought too. Saddle no moss. Moss brown could be is kind of good. I mean that's you know we can make it like sterling moss kind of thing here. It, would, it is British. Somewhere along the way, it's just going to click for me. I'm like, yeah, that's it. Wood beach brown. Straw. Sandy. Bleached. And the purples. Yeah, we're not, we're not even considering the purples. Cream. Ice white frost, right? We're done. Okay. So we're really down to Sienna. I think I take the Sienna over the, the beach wood. Beachweed's a little richer, but there's there's something nice and saturated with that. Cut your moss brown, make it really sedate. Then you can go back to gasoline green, which matches my shirt. It. I don't know. I think I think I think I kind of settled in on Sienna with a pleasant what? Pleasant beechwood. A little bit more. I mean, we could go wild here. We could really give it a. Ooh, the bleached brown. 
it's like not quite as is is hard hitting as a cream. This is all this is all get hitting me very root beer here. And cream pearlescent. There you go. Secondary color. I don't think I have any secondary parts. Is this changing anything? Anything in the car? Nope. It's a complete waste of time. Trim color. Okay. Although this has potential. Let's see. Want to match it up? Or should we just go go with the cream we can make a direct comparison here they're not too far off so we got sienna brown let's go back to third person yeah I think that looks cool Skirts. Yeah. Spoiler is a must. Oh, I see. This has got the pop. This has got the power uh, spoiler. So it's not necessarily a must. Although it will handle better with a fixed spoiler for low speed uh, turns. Or do we want to just have the really cool effect of the powered spoiler? It's not. It's not going to be a competitive car, so we might as well leave it clean and smooth. Wheel type, high end. Shadows, hyper. I'm just going for what I like on this, you know. That's an interesting. Oh, you know, that's interesting. The carbon infernos. Carbon shadow. Carbonic Z. Carbon solar. Definitely something carboned up. Carbon S Racer. Mm. I'm thinking alloy with it. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't think this one really called for chrome. This is like an alloy thing. But alloy, alloy, a lot of car. Just or just straight up carbon. I think that's that's calling to me right there. Oh, we can black them out. Get them completely carbon. Although I, I like the two the two textures. Tires, tire design. Mm. And eh, not really. Bulletproof, obviously. Tire smoke. Not like they have you can do brown tire smoke, but that's not going to be a thing even. Windows light smoke. Now let's bounce back to lights. Neon kits, neon color. What color should we make this? I mean, it's probably going to stay white. It'd be nice if I could get like a cream, but they are limited. Should we make it Sprunk Crew just for the heck of it? To remember the de the days. I mean, it's a more subtle color than most. Like the white's a little too white for the cream. Mint's a little too mint. 
All right, that'll be our, our limitation for sprunking it up. You need a neon kit for just for handling purposes. It does improve things. All right, let that get to ground. I mean, I can always change the lights if, if the if the green grinds on me. I wonder if when I change crews, I'm not doing that yet because I'm making videos a little bit out of order here. <laughs> See, this does not, it's not bad, but it's not turbo quick. I mean, it's really, as far as supercars are concerned, I may do some racing with it at some point. Of course, you know what we should do, even before, well, let's, let's go take care of the nightclub here. There's a hundred grand in there. Let's see if it'll go up Chiliad. It will. I'm almost positive it'll go up till yet, but we'll get a, a good feel for it there. Dooby dooby doob. As soon as I hit the steps, it should be hopefully a dot. Yep. Somebody's ruining the vibe on the dance floor. All right. Well, you know. We're back to where it takes two cycles to get 100 grand, but I mean, that's a lot of money, you know, it's so much money made in game anymore. Let's go fix the vibe on the dance floor real quick and then we'll go back out. Actually, we won't even have to leave. We're just gonna jump. It's not here, he's downstairs. Okay. Dooby dooby doo do. You can imagine whatever music you want. I'm not getting copyright bit. If I can avoid it. No! <laughs> Cracker knuckles and get out. Jobs, play job. Recently played races. The Chiliad Hot Lap Route. Let's see how this thing does. Again, you know, it's. When you watch the reviews of it back in the day. You know, the handling was very kind of skittish and crazy. We're 15 on the sprunk meter and we're probably going to stay there. But it went 231 you know, miles an hour, which was the fastest car. That looks, that looks very appropriate. It looks like, you know, we're, we're good here. We're at night. Well, I guess it'll show off the, uh... I didn't turn off traffic, although that's not going to really matter that much. What is going to matter is, can I find my jump point at night? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> that was where my rear end was in the air and the front wheels were still tracking. So, I mean, I can, I, you know, you know what would be really good for this car? An HSW upgrade, which I'm on PC, we don't get those yet. But, can you imagine if they gave this like a ridiculous, like a, you know, a top speed? Give it its real top speed, 231 miles an hour, and don't change the handling. It would just be an insane mad car, which would be wildly difficult to drive, but would utterly break racing. And that's what HSW seems to do. I'm not even sure if I want HSW for a PC. The only trick is there are certain cars you can't get otherwise. I mean, they're not great cars. The, the Arbiter, I want the Arbiter because it's basically a Torino. Okay, that was not good. It's a cross between, you know, Ford Torino and a Buick Skylark, and you gotta like that. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm gonna have any trouble with this. Ooh, that, that, we lost a lot of momentum there, though. I, I wasn't turning there, that just kicked out. The traction's not great, but the power's there, and the power's enough to get you through on this, usually. A 
unless you do that. Come on. Okay, I went a little bit aggressive there with the uh, with the pathing and with my with my route. You go up here, it's no problem unless you jump it off the edge of the mountain. Okay, let's go. Supercars, you gotta be careful because they are kind of wide. This one's a little bit long, I think. You get that vibe off it, or maybe just the view. Let's see. Maybe it's not yet. Yeah, it could be just I was zoomed in too close. I think compared to some other supercars, it's it's actually pretty narrow and small. But maybe it's just my my impression at that moment. We'll we'll let that all slide. But yeah, no problems getting to the top of Heliod. That you're, not that you're, unless you're on 5M, probably not getting a uh, a GP1 in the, in the the traffic, but you never know. I notice I'm crashing a lot less since I'm doing invite only sessions. It it doesn't, you know. So maybe if, if I'm just not on regular GTA, maybe I could actually think about doing. This didn't go well. I didn't make the turn, right? Oh, come on. There we go. Save it a little bit. It's still not the right path down, I don't think. Now. If it recovers well enough, I mean, we'll get there. You know, it's... Yeet! I don't necessarily follow G-Fred rules when doing these, just to, if it gets stuck going down, I will boop gun it if I can't. I don't know, or oh, I'll just reset, one of the two. We won't get we won't get the bicycle, so. This is just a training tool, you know? It's a G-Fred training tool. And you know what's really impressive is I've done a few of these videos, and I'm really not very good at this yet. You know, can you imagine the guys who do this all the time? What do you think of the sprunk green here? Is that, you know... Oh, there it goes. Ooh, he yeeted it past the train. Can we jump on the train? No. Well, we could, but we're not, not doing it that way. It does feel a little skittish, but I'm only driving it on railroad tracks yet, so we'll have to see when we get it out on the road. How it feels as a road car, which is what it really is. Rides the rails pretty good. Well, maybe. Rides them a little bit. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh goodness. That's fully armored. What happened there? Where am I even going now? Okay, we can't. We have to, we have to be careful here. I want to go off the wrong side of Chiliad here. Oh, sure. Is that the first time on one of these I've had one explode? Probably not, but maybe. That was weird. It's like it's like it clipped into the road or something like that, and just. Because it was twitching when it exploded, so something weird happened there. Normally, in, in a G Fred, you end up with a bicycle, so that's still not the right way down. I should have kept it to the, the right, but oop. Might still be better than the last time now. We're getting lots of RP, getting the ERPs. Get the ERPs. Land it. Land it. We didn't land it. Yeet. Again, it doesn't seem to have like traction problems or anything here. It's not getting stuck.
I wouldn't say it's an optimal G for it kind of thing because you know again the top speed is better than your average G Fred car but it's not stunning we're not too pulling you know 130 going up the uh, the straights here let's be a little more careful there not too worried about the paint you know it's, it's, we live in a universe here where cars are magically fixed with no cost to you for the most part just drive them into a garage and boop and yeet using the tree to stop that was that was a technique and wow well, it's a little little little, little lady here all right now I mean, it's got pretty good steering. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad to drive. It turns quickly. It's got, you know. And then we're immediately back into the off-road. Ah, that does, that does lose its tail. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it has a bad off-road traction loss. I don't know. It's, that would make sense. But it's probably just one. I mean, it just, it's just a little bit, a little bit tail happy. The the real car is a bit skittish, according to people who have driven it, which is not me. Missed the jump. Probably could have made that jump here. Let's let's try it. Let's go back. This is a training tool, after all. And as a training tool, we should train. I didn't quite have enough there. Wow. We could get there. All right, we're we're up. I'm not regretting the purchase, you know. It, I, I will say this: if it ever came down to needing needing a parking space, probably gonna be one of the first to get sold. But I mean, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's just not something you're gonna want to race with, probably. Probably. Maybe we'll try at some point. And yeah, it's not really so much about the times on these. There's nothing to compare them to. But there it is. I got myself a, a nice little Sienna Brown McLaren. With like an arrow kit. And that, that's all I got. It. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.